morning, everybody. Except it's really not morning at all, it's noon. Um, uh, plans have changed for me approximately 12 times this morning, but we're just gonna forget about all that and you guys are just going to jump in with me uh, right now. So, I started the tractor because a truck came way sooner than I had anticipated. And so I only have about 20,000 pounds on me and I like to load the trucks at like 60,000 pounds. And we're moving fields. So I'm going to put this 20,000 pounds on him and then go to another field and I don't have anybody else with me. Dad's hauling trucks right now. So after I fill this truck driver up with a grain cart, I'm going to hop in the combine drive it to the next field and then I'm gonna have the truck driver that we hired pick me up and take me back so I can drive the grain cart down to the field so that I can fill into the grain cart by myself and then load him for the rest of the way. So, could be kind of interesting. It's a one woman show right now, but dad should be back soon to help me out. I will be back for you soon. Just give me a little bit. I tweeted yesterday, I, I've been thinking about this a lot recently. Um, I said, farming is 25% farming, like actually harvesting, planting, um, cultivating, things like that, irrigating, and 75% logistics, which I mean, is that exactly accurate? I don't know, but I spend more time just planning what to do next, how to get vehicles from one field to another, when should I sell my corn, what are the prices of things doing, who are we going to hire, who's, who's driving truck, how are we getting fertilizer and fuel out to the field. I spend way more time planning and doing logistics than I do actually farming, or at least that takes up more of my brain space. All right, snagged a grain cart driver, sent dad off to the co-op again, fully loaded, and uh, we'll be in the combine for a while. So, you may notice that the corn we're harvesting looks a tad bit green, uh, but have no fear. We are harvesting it and it's at 20 moisture, which is perfectly fine. That's actually a really great spot to be harvesting it at. And it just means that our plant health is really good. The ears are still standing up straight. Um, the corn didn't run out of nitrogen, didn't run out of water lived a healthy life and now it's being harvested and will be turned into ethanol or cow food or both.
combine is full and the grain cart is full and we're waiting on trucks. And so instead of just sitting in the cab, um, I'm just getting out and looking behind the combine to see if I'm losing any kernels of corn out of the back or off the head. Um, and that would mean I would need to make adjustments and settings to the combine. Um, but it looks really clean back here. So I'll just keep looking around. But this gives me a little bit of a chance to uh, stretch my legs. It's nice. It's a beautiful day outside. definitely full. More cab corn for me. Man, I shut it off as soon as I got the warning. Corn's just too good, I guess. This is my favorite time of night to be harvesting. The sun is setting and the wind dies down and I just feel like there's this beautiful harvest light over everything. It is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can totally tell on video, but the sky fades from blue to pink to purple. I just think it's so pretty. There's the moon over there. Finally turn the combine lights on. I think we are in need of a light upgrade because this is with them off and this is with them on. A little bit of a difference, but once the sun goes all the way down, it doesn't do too much. Look who's back. It's my favorite truck driver in the big blue truck. So cool looking. after the co-op closed, co-op closed at eight, and I loaded three trucks so that they can go into town tomorrow, first thing. Now, I made a few new cuts. Oh, three quarters of the way full. Made a few new cuts on the new field, woohoo! Film and drive to the full. I am just going to fill up the combine so tomorrow morning when the trucks start coming back empty, I can be ready to unload into the grain cart and the grain cart can fill them and send them right back to the co-op. Um, we can have another full day of harvesting tomorrow. So I appreciate you following along. It's been a uh, huge
huge day. Um, it's 9, 9.08, and I'll probably be home around 10 to eat supper, because I didn't pack myself supper. I packed myself lunch, but not supper. So I'll go home and eat supper, clean it up, pack my lunch for tomorrow, edit a video, and uh, do this all over again tomorrow. So, we'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!